Hello everyone. I'm going to show you today how to make a manual update on your charts. Uh, actually, the places where that you want to make manual updates is not so frequent. But uh, assume that you go to Nakotka, right? In Nakotka, there have been many PSC deficiencies that uh, the leading light, some light. Uh, whose characteristics do not really tally with that of the ADLL. Actually, you normally update your egg this by uh, digitally, right? But for some reason, this particular light, uh, its characteristics are not updated. So the, the, the PSC people from Russia, Nakotka, they know that it is not updated. So they come, this is a frequent, uh, frequent PSC alert that they have issued. Uh, in that case, what you can do is you find this light. Uh, if you go, if you go to Nakotka, go to your ADLL, take your leading lights, and double check the characteristics uh, of these lights with that of what you see on Eggdis. If it is different, do a manual update. Right. This is how to do manual update. Simple. Uh, menu. Uh, chart menu. Manual updates. Planning. Okay, here you have everything. So you have to take new. Here you have the uh, the updates, type of updates that you want to add. If it is an airport, things like that. Here you get line, lines for lines, you know, birds, conveyor, current, deep, things like that. If it is an area, say uh, administrative airport area, anchor area, some things. Uh, the TSS lines, whatever. I take point because mainly you will have to put light or if you go to India uh, or the Persian Gulf, there are some production platforms. These are these you have to put by manual updates because the production platforms is not uh, these platforms are not going to. Uh, vanish after a few months so it will be there so you have to put the manual update for this you can take uh, say if it is a um, production platform area it is here you can uh, take where, 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 where is it production area no, uh, there was production platform show line construction Break. Uh, okay, if it is not here, you uh, offshore platform. See, you can you can put this right. I will take a light because light you have to put characteristics, everything. Mm, all right. Select what you want and accept new object. Then click on edit properties. Okay, now you have. You have to edit properties and values. Click on edit properties and values. Here you have the characteristics that you need to input to this um, manual update. In this example, it's the light. <coughs> First, well, the typical order that uh, the order in which the characteristics appear is flashing, then the color of flashing, white, red. Then the frequency, four seconds, five seconds, likewise, and then the height of the light. If it is a lighthouse, say 20 meters, then the nominal range in miles. So then, first you select the, the flashing is flashing anyway. There is uh, no problem. Signal period. Signal group and put it to this side select from here okay no need no need okay no need this one okay, flash let's say color let's for example take the color color okay right and select color from here select white black red whatever in this example i will give red and import it to this side property value now this is 
uh, done. Then the next is, uh, as I said, the frequency. Okay, the the period, uh, signal period. Yes. Then uh, important to decide period. Uh, let's say it's ten seconds. It automatically takes seconds, right? And that is done. Now the height. Go very carefully. You have to uh, search one by one. Height. Here comes height. Export to this side. Click height and give the uh, height of the lighthouse. Let's say let's say it is 20 meters. This uh, unit is in meters, right? And confirm by left clicking. Then the nominal range. light visibility i don't know i'm not going to put likewise right uh, there is the nominal range if okay, textual description will give later there was there there should be nominal range value of nominal range value of nominal range good import select and give let's say it is it is already always in uh, miles let's say it is 20 miles okay and now the characteristics are all good it will appear now you want to add a textual description um, where is it in textual description um, okay right whatever uh, say um, this, uh, whatever that you like uh, let's say for example a d l l uh, source or something like that this is just for your reference okay right and accept everything now the light is ready to be uh, imported here then you have to give the exact value because because you can't just roughly put okay i will click here oh my goodness fuck pause 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 okay right uh, 